Let us pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys and sufferings on this day for all the intentions of your Sacred Heart in union with the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world in reparation for my sins, for the intentions of all my relatives and friends, and in particular for the intentions of the Holy Father. Amen. Let us pray for the intention of the Pope for the month of November. Children who suffer. We pray for children who are suffering, especially those who are homeless, orphans and victims of war. May they be guaranteed access to education and the opportunity to experience family affection. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. My dear friends, as we have gathered in the presence of the Lord, let us thank the Lord for the gift of this day. Let us thank Him for giving us this morning hour, for helping us to come together to spend this time with Him, a time that is liberating, a time that is joyful, a time that will help us in order to reflect on our lives and to become better individuals. And as we gather in the presence of the Lord, let us offer up everything, whatever holds us, everything which is an obstacle for us. Let us place before the Lord all that worries us, all that causes us anxiety. And Lord, we ask you, take care of all these things that prevent us from growing, that hinder our growth. Lord, we ask you to be with us and journey with us all through this day. And my dear friends, let us now close our eyes and let us praise the Lord, for he has woken us up this morning. He has given us this day, a day that will help us to do many things in many different ways, a day that will help us to reach out to others, a day that will help us to complete something that was left incomplete, a day that will help us to make a difference in the lives of others. And whatever we do today, Lord, we offer it up to you so that ultimately Everything may come from you and it may radiate your goodness, your love and your mercy. Lord, you have given us good health. You have given us all that grace, all the blessings that we require in life. And for this, Lord, we praise you, we bless you and we thank you. You have always kept us in your love. You have always kept us in your gaze. 
And for this, Lord, we praise you. We thank you. We glorify you. You love us, Lord. You provide for us all the graces that we need to grow, all the blessings that we need to face challenges in life. And now, my dear friends, let this day be a day of blessings. Let this day be a day of joy in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And today we shall reflect on Psalm 23. The psalm says, The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. A shepherd is one who takes care of his flock, who knows his sheep. The Lord knows each and every one of us. He knows what we require. He knows what we do. And therefore, just as the sheep listen to the shepherd, let us place our trust, let us place our confidence in the Lord so that we may allow him to guide us because he knows the plan that he has for us. He knows the right things that are needed for us to be done. And therefore, let us place our faith and trust in him. The psalm continues. He restores my soul. He leads me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. And here we see how the Lord has been ever so gracious in our lives. When there have been difficult moments, He has been always there guiding us, taking us away from those dangerous moments, leading us to safety. The Lord is always there guiding us. Do we allow ourselves to be guided by Him? Do we allow ourselves to be led by Him? Today, let us ask the Lord to be our refuge, to be our strength. And the psalm continues, You prepare a table for me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. The Lord is generous. He gives us all the graces that we require in life. And therefore, let us thank the Lord. Let us praise Him for all that He does for us. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord my whole life long. And let us ask the Lord to help us to become more like Him, to radiate His goodness to the world around us. And now, let us spend a few moments in silence reflecting on the psalm that we have heard. Let us try to make the psalm personal. Let us try to understand what we are being told through this psalm. Let us try to be like the sheep that follow the shepherd, that place their faith and trust in the shepherd. And as we spend these moments in silence, Lord, we ask you to lead us, to guide us in the right possible direction. Prayer to Saint Michael the Archangel for protection. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince 
of the heavenly hosts by the power of God thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls amen act of adoration o sacrament most holy o sacrament divine all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine Saint Gertrude prayer for souls in purgatory Eternal Father I offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine son Jesus in union with the masses said throughout the world today for all the holy souls in purgatory for sinners everywhere for sinners in the universal church those in my own home and within my family amen may the divine assistance remain always with us and may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of god rest in peace amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen